guardsmen. He'd rather be incorporated from their own community, from their own people. That makes sense. Well, it was just generally a query. Never hurts to ask. Okay. Um, <laughs> bit of goblin hunting. Yeah. That's long enough. They'll find you. I know you're going to deal with Echo. I'm going to play with the... I'm, I've taken the gain on the microphone down. You're probably still going to hear it, but for now, you'll probably have to deal. I think we should just continue traveling down the river. I think we should just have our bows ready as we go down the river okay. and shoot any that we see. Just do a little drive-bys. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're, we're in the bad part of the woods now. Those drive-by bowings. <laughs> Actually, you're in the area you're in now has given way. The, the light forest has given way to grasslands. The area you're in is much more like prairie. There's tall grass. This is actually quite a heavy uh, wheat production area. So it's Saskatchewan. <laughs> <laughs> if there was orcs, well, actually, yeah, Saskatchewan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just about the same. I wouldn't think of it as a weedy Detroit. <laughs> so this guy's taking our uh, the armor and short swords and stuff from us, right? Yeah. Is he going to offer us any compensation? Have you, know, you asked him for any compensation uh, yet? So I'll ask him. <laughs> I'll, I'll ask. So for these weapons and armor that you're returning to, are you? Uh, is it within your power to offer compensation for us, or is there a man we can talk to? Uh, to possibly gain some compensation. Yeah, because we aren't saints, right? <laughs> I'm not. It says, he kind of looks at you and you, can, you, you see the smirk under the beard. And he says, I could try to find compensation for it. He said, uh... <laughs> let's stop. Yeah, exactly. Everybody rummage around in my rising. pocket here to see what I got. <laughs> Urge to persuade rising. Yep, that's my alarm. Sorry about that. We don't have to come back to left. Armor. No, but he did ask if you had it. Somebody said, "Yeah, we have it. Yeah, yeah. we have it, but we're not going to give it away." <laughs> well, it is for a, a a very good cause, so it's not like I, I'd want to. This uh, is just no me worries. personally want to sell it for you know full coinage what we get for it, but you know something for our troubles. I don't feel bad. They need it. I don't. I mean, our we, reward is that justice has been done. I don't actually say that. <laughs> our reward Dobit is that Rythok would. Done, and that we get at least half price for them. <laughs> oh, let's trade it for some food. What do they got? He goes, well, actually, goes, that we can do. He goes, cash? He goes, we don't do a lot of cash here. Um, he said, but what we do have is, you know, we can feed you, make sure you have enough food to get you up, for, up the river a little further. I'll take store credit. Ah, that's an idea. You don't by chance happen to have any furs, do you? Fur? Just what we wear, really. He goes, we're not. He goes, we do get trader, fur traders coming in around here, but uh, he goes, nobody really likes to wear a lot of prairie dog. I can get you fur. <laughs> what do you want? I think, I think he's looking for white fur. He wants white. White fur. Well, I can do that, too, but we got to go north. Yeah, exactly. Oh, what a coincidence. We're on our way. Okay. I would like to uh, take some time to, uh, when you get the chance, to scout out the outlying area in the general direction of the nearest uh, Brothers of Blood. All right. See if I can't get myself well, this. Uh, you you uh, don't really know. Them. That's one of the characteristics of the, the, the clerics of the, uh, the Battle Rager, is that they're not well known for following predictable patterns. Hmm. They are the embodiment of chaos in battle. Oh, you know, you can, you can predict what they're going to do. And virtually everything else they do. I, I, I can pretty much, whatever the situation, I can pretty much call what the Battle Rager guy's going to do. <laughs> an orc! You see an orc. I've got pretty much got him pegged. <laughs> I don't feel like sitting around here. Anyway. <laughs> nope, well, we're uh, Shit, orc okay, is going again. That was, uh, again, only, only really for convenience. If no one really wants to give me a hand, if it's just me trying to do, go do a scouting thing to find oh, them. No. Oh, this is what I do. Well, here's the thing. You've got a, you, you could probably make the next town by nightfall. All right, I'd rather do that. If you didn't, if you don't dick around here too much. Um, that being said, he does 
Dvorn is able to uh, provide you with probably about another week's worth of food for everybody. Okay, uh, cool. so we that, take, we take the food agreeable. and we head up. That's, that's great, yeah. but who's going to carry it? Boat. I will. Okay. Yeah, we got plenty of room on the boat. Yeah, right. that boat can carry about four tons. Yeah. That's and good. you've only got maybe. And we we had like eight pounds. people in there just now. I don't yeah. think. Sorry, I, yeah. forgot, I, I forgot we had a boat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Boat four boat. tons, and you know, even with a halfling taking it about two and a half of it, still. <laughs> yeah, we still got plenty of. Harsh, man, harsh. Now that you've been with uh, flowers for about several days, you're starting to notice the guy forgets a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Forgetting that he has a boat is probably would, would, is very much in character for him. <laughs> what is this that I'm standing on? Is it the ground? Oh wait, it's a boat. No, just we got off the boat. Where the hell did this boat come from? <laughs> we haven't had the boat uh, that long, so. I just hope he doesn't forget who his friends are at a very inconvenient time. No, I know who you are. Um, uh, <laughs> we know the boob mage. Don't tell me. <laughs> so it's uh, so Dvorn has uh, a number of Sin people bring you Carl? Hmm? Carl, yeah yes <laughs> well actually no it's, it's, it's the barbarian who is speaking Gornar, Gornar! I, I, that was my second guess <laughs> it, I bet it was uh, so you guys head out he, uh, uh, Dvorn brings more material back. He brings food, and, you know, dried, dried food goods back, loads them on the boat. You guys push off. He says, um, if you're headed north, the fir if you really want to get far, far north, he goes, you're, you're going to want, what you're going to want to do is, um, you know, take the eastern fork here, and <laughs> you want to take the eastern fork, you'll get to Shylock. And then at Shyok, you're going to take the Western Fork and head up to Voil. Just and that'll pretty much take you to the end of Gothar's territory. Okay, so east and west. Yeah, you take the Eastern Fork and then the Western Fork. Um, as you're traveling along further, he said you'll, you'll find there's a lot of tributaries. He was the land all through here, all through these grasslands, tons and tons of rivers. They go off in every direction. He goes, but if you're trying to get as far north as possible, he goes, yeah, go east to Shyok and then west to Voil. Wait, wait, um, Shyok, I take out a piece of parchment. How you spell that? <laughs> uh, let's see. Voil. Uh, oh, I, okay. I. East uh, to Shyok. Uh, Sounds Jewish to me. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I need to write this down. I need to write this down. Well, you've got uh, the cleric of the journeyman there. The Davros is the one who's kind of doing some map making and uh, making notes in the journal, indicating what you've, you're encountering on the way. Well, he needs to write yes. it down for himself. Is, who's mapping? Because uh, I can map, but. Well, uh, Davros, that's actually like part of his god's portfolio. Okay, you're better at it than I am, so you go. <laughs> yeah. Yep. He's also... No, I, I don't know if I'm actually... I don't know if I'm actually better at it than you are. You probably uh, are. Uh, my, cart my cartography is only 22. Then I am better. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. But, are you, but, but is, is Flowers literate? Yes. He is. Yes, I am. Not Holy extremely shit, somebody, so, but somebody took the time to teach a hobgoblin, half hobgoblin, how to read. Yeah, my the, remember the the guy oh, yeah. who saved my life and yeah, he taught me how to read. He taught me how to read Clarice oh. and enough yeah. to enough to get by. Oh, that's, that's kind of I know the that first might have been seven situation where he taught himself <laughs> how to talk. Okay, you know, when, uh, it wouldn't be a bad reference. idea to have. It wouldn't be a bad idea to have both Davros and Flowers work on uh, cartography, looking over the same thing. That I mean, works, that works for me. It also wouldn't be a bad idea to have two sets of maps in case something happened to one of you. Also a good idea. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I know enough to read without moving my lips. So. <laughs> You're better than some of my students, then. <laughs> They're university-aged. Oi. I suppose if I'm not doing anything, I could uh, make an elven map. 
just take what they have and just convert. Translate it to Alvin. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a bad idea. Elves. Yeah. An elf. Oh, there. Sorry. There's two elves. St. Carl and Anaris are both two? elves. Sorry, I forgot too. Right, we picked that one guy. Up. Okay. <laughs> uh, again, forget. in line with his character, you're an elf. <laughs> <laughs> like, holy crap, who is black? I don't know, y'all look the same to me. What's a paladin? That would be a legitimate question he'd ask. Well, I've so, never seen one. No, it's, they're, they're rare as hen's teeth, you know? You gotta be 10th level to... You gotta be... You gotta make it to 5th level as a fighter with all the bells and whistles. Then you become a knight. You become a knight from 6th to 10th level. Then at 11th level, if you've got... All, you know... You're you're basically tricked out from first level up. Uh, then you have a chance of becoming a paladin at eleventh level. Chat room. I, I think there's a, a very uh, uh, tedious thing to go through from tenth to eleventh to even be chat get a room. chance. Yeah. To become... If you're wondering why my guy is kind of being a little dense, it's not because it's not because he's stupid. Actually, far from it. But one of his flaws is short-term memory loss. So he oh, remembers lovely. stuff long term. Like you know, he he knows he knows these guys because he's been around them. But names, yeah, it's gonna take him a little bit. Oh yeah, that guy on the docks, Beardo. That'll work. <laughs> Beardo. <laughs> so that's why that's why you'll often hear me say I take out a piece of parchment and I write it down because yeah. otherwise I don't know anything. <laughs> You're never gonna remember it. Uh, so you uh, you head back in the boat. You take the Eastern Fork uh, to Shyok, and it's not very far. It's about another two hours. You're coming to the end of of um, the daylight here, and Shyok is much, much smaller. I mean, we're talking about, you know, it's smaller than beer. It's about, you know, about, 11, about, about 1,000 people. And by the time you reach there, you know, the sun is setting. Um, shadows are getting long. The phone? Uh, yeah, that's um, it's my fiance's phone. That's her alarm. She has to get up in ten minutes. Yeah. Okay, so you're heading along. Uh, Shia comes into view. It's much closer in terms of you know layout to what Bira was like. It's open. It's very open. More or less, just a number of dwellings and and residences clustered around the river. And again, like with uh, Jaya Nor, it's at a small junction. The junction here is actually much wider. Um, you know, when they talk about Eastern Fork and Western Fork, it's much. It's not just like oh, oh one's just veering off one way and one's veering off the other. It's actually a very distinct, you know, wide wide division. So as you come up to Shyok, um, you you arrive there and there's quite a bustle of activity. There's docks much like there were at Bira. Where do you have... Um, yeah. <clears throat> you, you, uh, you know, do you want to stay in the town? Yeah, good point. Um, Boom! There you go. So cartography, you're able to map it out, indicate where, where the town is, the lay of it, and the angle of the river. Um, you see a number of people at the um, at the docks at the, the the junction of the river, waving towards you, trying to wave you in. There seems to be quite a it's it's almost frantic. Uh, I guess we go check it out. I will use my observation skill to see if there's anything obvious that they have cause to worry about. Okay. How many of them are hiding daggers? <laughs> <laughs> Save roll observation. Will do. I do not have observation. Huh. Observation? Yes, you uh, it's, it's, it's universal. Yeah. yeah. I think I bought it at some point. Uh, yeah. yeah, I got it. Cool. Depends on how obvious it is. Might have missed it. Yeah. Let's see if I can get my roll. Okay. By the way, if you forgot how to do expressions, uh, it's within square brackets. You do square bracket 1D, 100, close bracket. No. No. I just and, do backslash R. Yeah, that's and what you, I do. You can actually you can put stuff in line, so you can type anything you want before or after the brackets, and it counts. You know what I mean? So 
You can do it like I did, type observation. There's also macros, but we'll get into that later. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not too worried about getting macros here. Testing not real. Okay. Um, you don't see anything obvious other than the fact that you'd see the a large number of the people. They're they're mostly farmers. Um, none of them look like they're ob ob armed with obvious um, military type weapons. Most of them have either a dagger at the belt or a hand axe or something like that. Okay. So yeah, unless, Carl they're, unless they're a mob with pitchforks, I don't see a problem. <laughs> so St. Carl's already shouted out what's going on to them. Um, you see an older woman, probably in her 50, late 50s, early 60s. Um, hair's gone pretty much white, uh, waving waving you in. As she calls out, she goes, did, did Vorn send, send you? I don't know. Who's Vorn? Did he get her? He... <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> You was, was he yes. that guy with the... Yeah. Okay, the that guy, yes. <laughs> the bearded dude, yes. Yes, the bearded dude. The Can beard I point dude. out, this is folky land, they all have beards, you know, pretty much. Only a few, once you hit adulthood, if you're male, um, unless you're a cleric of a cert, of particular gods, you can't get away with shaving your beard off without being ridiculed. I stand by my statement. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, she says. Uh, almost immediately, the people on the, the shoreline look very disheartened. They said, we were hoping that our messenger would have got there by now and that he would have had a chance to, to send something back. Send well, what's the back. issue? Send something back. One of our farmers, Loker, um, his farm was raided last night. Goblins. They actually abducted two of his children, killed one of his farm hands. Uh, where? Yeah. Well, that's moderately convenient. Uh, <laughs> Take me to this farm at once. Yeah. Yes, well, you pull ashore. Um, where did I find it here? Uh, I've got this here. Well, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, My guy looks torqued. <laughs> kill, 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 kill. Um, there we are. Okay, I had to find her name. Suli. Okay, where did I find her? She is, Suli is the, she's the matriarch of Shyok. Oh, that's um, It's more, you know, she's, it's not, um, you know, the Wildlands are very, politics is very weird there. There's not a lot of centralized government. For the most part, there's a central warlord or warmaster who can, who kind of protects the area and demands tribute, but individual communities are left to their own devices. Um, in this case, Gothar has, you know, lieutenants that he that command larger settlements, but for the smaller ones, they're really left to devote to, you know, conduct their own business. And in a lot of cases, it's just whatever way works best for them, family, in terms of the families there. And in this case, it just seems to be that it's, uh, you know, uh, you know, the, an older, wiser person kind of steps up as being the, the the front man of the group, or in this case, a front woman. So, she bring as you as you come ashore, she um, the Who hell farted? was that? <laughs> What's it mean? Oh, <laughs> St. Carl got pointed out. Just, uh, <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> so she, uh, she brings you ashore. She says, no, Lokar, Lokar's farm is, um, she goes, probably about, um, about two miles northeast of here. And she said, they're, um, Mostly, there it, it's he's a cattleman. He's got some farm. He's got some uh, uh, wheat, but mostly he raises cattle. And uh, they were raided during the night last night. Uh, probably about a dozen goblins came in, butchered one of his farm hands. When they came out to see what was going on, they grabbed two of his children and ran, along with a number of other goods on the property. Did they take any cattle? No, they did take butchered meat though. Mm. They uh, there was a smokehouse that they broke into. Well, as it stands, we're burning daylight. We might want to get a we might want to get a move on, see if we can track them while it's still relatively fresh. 
That's right. So let's go over there. All right. Um, In layman's terms, Yamul. <laughs> yeah, you're free to ignore it and ignore their pleas for help and let them all die. <laughs> but money. I mean, helping helping people. Yes, not not money. No, no, that's not my motivation at all. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> it's because it isn't your motivation. Am I listed as a DM? motivation? In this on the server, am I listed as a DM? Um, no, I'm listed. I at the top there it says map tool DM Badger. It has GM after that. Okay, uh, I'm gonna actually. I, I need to be a DM for a second, so I'm gonna. Okay. Out. No problem. Well, I, I'm sure it wouldn't be a problem if you were just like stuck yourself as, as DM tagged for the rest of the. Yeah, you know, it's not a I'm not gonna. Uh, what am I gonna do? <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! I, yeah. I'd have to DC all of you. Um, I'll work on it. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. So, what does DC mean? Disconnects. Oh, I see. No. Do we are we closing off then? No, or? no. Keep going. Well. Okay. Okay. So, um, as she leads you through town, um, she takes note of the weapon. She's very nervous about. <laughs> she she's very nervous with flowers there. Um, you know, half hobgoblin in an area that was just raided by goblins. Yeah. He's cool. What is this? Oh, okay. No. Lady, you want As your she, lady, you want your people back or not? She, goes, she says she nods. I mean, she gets over it quickly. She, there's just some apprehension. Um, she knows that you're traveling with humans, and including you know some very noble seeming people. Um, three clerics. So. Yeah, that's <laughs> okay. Three clerics, including the cleric of the true, which is you know, that goes a long way towards encouraging people that you know you're not trouble. So she uh, she leads you on. She points to a path that leads out of the town, and you know, the, which is like I said, more of a, a collection of buildings. She said, yeah, if you follow the trail northeast, it's uh, you know it's a wagon trail. She goes, you'll you'll come to Loker's farm, and then from there you should be able to find where they went. So St. Carl's taking point. I am a GM. Oh, okay. No, you are? Already? Yeah. Huh. Okay, Jesus cool. God. Cool. Alrighty. So moving along. Um, because you've got, you know, smaller humanoids here, you've got halflings with you. It's a little, um, oh, yes, I'm still here. Shut up. Okay. Um... <laughs> Oh yeah, that Google uh, Plus Hangout. Yeah. Yeah. It, it every now and then comes along and says, you know, you haven't been active. Pay attention to me. Love me. Okay. Um, moving along, the farm. You 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 hoofing along this trail. It is actually getting co close to night. Um, oops. Okay. Um, within about an hour of walking, it takes about two miles. You are, you know, you come into sight of Loker's farm, and it's actually a very large, prosperous area. Uh, you have outbuildings, you have a large barn, you have um, a farmhouse, smokehouses, things like that. Um, you know, slaughterhouse, thing, all these kinds of things. Large grain silo. Um, so whoever Loker is, he's very prosperous, and he sees. Very quickly, you know, there's a number of farmhands who see you approaching down the trail. Yeah, prosperous equals money. Very good. <laughs> he sees you approaching down the trail. <clears throat> and uh, one of the farmhands sees that you're armed. And he runs inside, and uh, an older man, tall, thin, you know, comes outside of the, the main house, and he sees you approach, and he says... It's, again, he seems hopeful, <laughs> and he says, uh, "We've come to help." You've come to help. Did Devorn send you? Kind of. Kind of. Okay, <laughs> that's a good. That's the best answer you can give at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Pen's character. Yeah, the, Rythok. You're gonna leave Rythok there? Foul. Well, I thought Ark was here. Hmm. They're, they're debating who to leave with the boat. I would like to point out that Rythok was the one who decapitated Bandit last adventure. You might want to keep him around. 
And he can heal, so... Well, who's... <laughs> out of character, who's NPC'd? Um, Rythok right now. I think we have a volunteer. Yeah, yeah. we do. I'm sorry, we'll but just... he's not doing anything, so... Uh, All right. Uh, I'll just I... A little yeah. bit hesitant about leaving that detect decapitating dude behind. He, uh... I, I know, but it's better than one of us. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. He'll mesh yeah. fine well, with the defenseless <laughs> villagers. <laughs> it's better than one of us. Yeah, we'll 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 come on. He'll, okay. he'll be fine. He's a cut above the rest. <laughs> oh. Well, I suppose he is the best of us. I mean, you know, it's it's better than say leaving Davos over there, who leave leave him there for more than a couple hours, and soon he's fathering like twelve illegitimate children. And he'll be fine. He knows how to get out in life. God damn it! Fucking ah. I'm spending too much time with my friends. <laughs> We're far too big a fans of bad of bad puns. Oh yes. Okay. Um, Loker, farm the the farmer the the rent, the, the cattleman, he says, um, he goes. They came from the north. He goes. They came across. They came across the pasture lands. He goes. I I don't know. He said, if I had to guess, he goes. There's year, years ago. He goes. There was another farm here. He goes. We we took it over. We we've, we've absorbed it since then through marriage. He says, but. Um, there's leftover ruins of a barn that they might be sheltered in. Because if you're looking for them, that's probably where they'll be. Because it's probably another two, three miles north of here. Okay. Has anybody tried following them? He goes, no, he goes, we have daggers, we have some axes. We There's other weapons here, but nobody's skilled. Nobody has, you know, we, we fought them off when they came, chased them away, but at the same point, you know, Going after them in the dark and the night's falling. He goes, "We're not warriors. He goes, we're, we're farmers." You did all you could, so mm -hmm. we'll take it from here. <laughs> Mike's got a good point. He goes, "You guys are using daggers and axes too, just larger versions of them." He said, "Okay, um, who wants to handle the tracking on this?" Well, you insult me, sir. <laughs> Flowers can track, yeah. Yeah. We can both fight. Well, you can both make a make a roll. Uh, all that money that the hobgoblin elf tracks the elf. <laughs> no, who knows? Uh, that's one of the things I love. Who knows? Well, that's one of the things that I love about uh, characters who kind of fulfill the same niche in the group is that more often than not, the do. chance arises. Actually, maybe not. It's probably it's probably really dead even. No, you do better. They they <laughs> always want to contest and not work together. It's like, well, I want to do it. Well, I want to do it. Okay, this is always, we'll this roll is against always, each other. I, I may have mentioned this is where always the DM is always kind of fucked. <laughs> where when they're relying on the guy to track, and then we both fuck it up, and now we're never going to be able to track him. No, no, you, you got a chance. Um, you Can both I have use survival. Little... No, unfortunately, it doesn't do you any good for tracking. Dag <laughs> Abbott. Um, you are able to pick up something of a trail. Um, you're able. You're. It's slow going. Trying to follow it. I mean, this is very um, soft ground. It's been probably less than twelve hours. Well, less than twenty-four hours since the tracks were made. Uh, the ground is still relatively soft. It's not like you're moving across stone floors and trying to track people through a dungeon. You're tracking them through tall grass and and prairie land. I mean, there. It's it's relatively easy to find the trail. What I am going to require though is a second rule and about. You know, another mile or so. While you're going, though, I need everybody to make an observation check. Yo, you know. Uh, like add or subtract. Zing. Ooh. I have a two. Do that right at least. <laughs> I think I either failed hard or succeeded well. I still don't know. <laughs> observation. That's unchallenged, so you're gonna want to roll low. You want low. Yeah. Oh, good. I rolled it's a essentially two. challenging your own skill. So you're going to want to... What did you roll? Yeah, you rolled a two. Holy shit. Um, you're moving... As you move through the area, um, the sun is pretty much set. The night's coming fast. Luckily, though, the moons are up. Uh, they're not full yet, but there is enough light to see by, at least for the humans. Uh, the elf, the elves and the half-hop goblin have no real problem. <laughs> 
the ground and all that. That being said, in this kind of land, uh, the halflings do get the bonuses to hide. Now, can I get another track?